Hello, bookworm. I'm Icy. I'm Ivy. And we are Mangoes and Books. Welcome back to our channel. And today we're going to do another book haul. to the library and in total I've got four books. I have six books. If you haven't watched our June library book haul, put it one of the cards here. Watch it. And let's see what progress we've made since then. But first, let's see what books we've got. First book, Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. So this book is, um, I think it's middle grade book. Kind of like Alice in Wonderland-ish or mm -hmm. something fantasy. It's about a girl who is black and white who lives in a world full of color. And yeah, that's all I know. And I've been seeing it on booktube a lot and it looks pretty interesting and the cover is beautiful. Look at that. Book number one for me, Circe by Madeline Miller. This is a 2018 release which I've been kind of anticipating since I've been seeing it on Goodreads and on booktubers videos and I really like Greek mythology and this is mainly about a Greek goddess who's a kind of an underdog and she's been banished by Zeus and then from then she discovers her powers and the impact she has on the mortal world. So far I've read the first four pages and I'm loving it. I can't I wait. When I saw it in the library, I was spazzing for maybe two hours. Because <laughs> it's never there. And I've heard that her other book, The Song of Achilles, is good. That wasn't on the shelf, but it's okay. <laughs> History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. I've heard that this is a very sad book and I've read one of his books, More Happy Than Not, and I liked it. And I've heard that so many people cried after reading this book or while reading this book. So it's about a guy named Griffin who lost his best friend or ex-boyfriend in a drowning accident. He starts to deal with his worsening mental health issues from OCD and grief and then he discovers his new relationship with Theo's current boyfriend. It's only below 300 pages, a pretty thin book. So I'm hoping to read this next. Let me know what are your thoughts. I want to read it too. My second haul is Demon Crown by James Rollins. So I've been reading the Sigma Four series which is an adult history. It, it's a mix of history, politics, and fiction. And the way James Rollins does it is he does a lot of research within a specific country. And then when there's blanks in between the history, he fills them up with fiction and it makes it believable. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the 13th or 12th or 14th book in the series and I love it. I hope it, it never ever ends. <laughs> the Summer That Melted Everything by Tiffany McDaniel. So I don't really know what this book is about. It's an adult fiction. And ooh, bookmark. It's about uh, during the time in 1984 during the heat wave or something. It's like a, uh, a boy who's devil incarnate. Mm -hmm. Something like that. It's pretty mysterious. There are so many good reviews about this i think more than four stars out of five that's pretty short too so i wanted to read it nice cover oh. a skin full of shadows by frances hardage so i've never really heard of this book until i went to the library and saw it displayed cover first instead of spine first which is usually the case the cover looks so pretty there's so many glittery leaves and owls and stars. So it's about a girl who gets possessed by spirits who try to seek refuge. And this girl is usually very strong against spirits, but then one day there's this really strong spirit who possesses her and brings her to her father's past where there's like a lot of war and powerful ancestors and there's like war and everything. And I checked the 
ratings on Goodreads and their four star average ratings, which is why I would like to give it a try. It's a very thick book, around 400 plus pages, and let's see how I go. So, if those of you who've read A Skin Full of Shadows, please let us know what you think. <laughs> Life Like by J. Kristoff. This was released this year, right? And yes, we found a copy in the library, which is pretty rare for a new book. Is he a famous author? Yeah, because yeah. of Gemini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's Australian. Yeah. So what it just says here, it's Romeo and Juliet meets Mad Max meets X-Men with a little bit of Blade Runner cheering from the sidelines. And they have the, the three laws of robotics, which is pretty interesting. I'm hoping this one is good because I don't know why, but I didn't like Never Alive. I want to give this one a try too. What? Is this a new release too? Oh yes! Oh. The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill. So this is a young adult new release this year. <laughs> from our book tag from a previous video when we had no idea what releases we were looking forward to this year. We have this one, Cersei and Life Black. So this is a Little Mermaid retelling. As a kid, I loved The Little Mermaid and the cover is so beautiful. I'm currently reading this as well. I'm actually halfway. Not really. Almost halfway. I was reading this along with two other books. But before we get into that, I was watching book reviews on the surface breaks. And I was watching one review in particular and that was Chloe. Books with Chloe. And she said she kind of felt about this one. I don't know why but I don't feel <laughs> about this. Maybe because of the Little Mermaid elements. If you think King Triton was strict, you should meet the Sea King. It's more Game of Thronesy. The realities in this book are more harsh. <laughs> <laughs> and it shows how females are very oppressed in the Sea Kingdom. And I want to find out how she finds her way in the human world. Mm -hmm. Since it's a library book, this jacket is taped to the book. But you can see here, film, film. It's so pretty. It's silvery too. Very nice. Support your libraries, guys. Leia on the Offbeat by Becky Albertelli. So I've read all of her books. Ooh. How many books is she? She has the Simon the Unrequited. Mm -hmm. and this one mm -hmm. and they are all in the same universe in each book there are characters who are related to each other mm -hmm. so Leia in this book is the cousin of Simon I thought she was Simon's best friend mm -hmm. so I finished this book like two weeks ago this book kind of got me out of my reading slump I just needed some contemporary books and yeah it's pretty fun is it funny? funny? Yeah, it's kind of funny. The character was pretty not even tempered. But yeah, understandable because she's a teenager. <laughs> so I just finished reading Unwind today. It took me a long time to finish it because I kept getting distracted by the books that I would keep on borrowing. So while I was reading this, I started reading The Surface Breaks. And then I finished it today. So because we love Sight by Neil Shusterman, this is Unwind. This is the first book in the Unwind series. It's a very hard subject. So it's like it's set in this world where parents are given the authority to get their children unwound. Like they could be organ donors. They could send their kids off to harvest camps to get their organs and body parts donated. Mm. Which is weird. It's a sad thing. Why would you send your child? What happens to their organs? When adults need like a heart or a lung, they get to give it. Mm -hmm. What happens to the kid? I don't know, but they don't necessarily die. I don't know how they're kept alive, but they're no longer in a complete anatomical state, so they're all separate. 
kind of made me sick to think about that idea of a world where parents do that so I probably would stay away from the <laughs> the next books <laughs> it was it was very I probably need a happy book right now something not heavy but I like his writing I like how he represents the different characters in the different mindsets in this book and how he questions the process of unwinding and what if there really is a soul what happens to the soul or if they're really alive i'm just glad i finished it so i can move on <laughs> so the last book for my haul library haul is my current read turtles all the way down by john green i was hesitant to pick this up at the library when i saw it because john green's books were the first books that i read in ya and back then i really loved it he was my favorite author but now i've outgrown it so, so i don't know how to feel since i've read so many books so many so other many. young adult yeah uh, other not better but different Office. Yeah, so many books in between the last book he wrote and this one. So there was a huge gap. And I'm currently on page 48. So far, so good. 280. I'm still getting to know the characters. So it deals with a girl called Ada who has OCD and yeah, mostly about mental health. So I can't wait to finish this book. I've heard that it's pretty sad and some people cry, but I need a good cry. <laughs> John Green, hello, hello. Welcome back. So this was featured in our last book haul, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I decided to shelf this under DNF, mainly because I wasn't really feeling it. It was just really painful to read for me. It was kind of boring. And it has like 400 pages. And I was thinking, maybe it gets better. So I was on page 138 when I decided to DNF. Considering that I have more than 300 pages to go and that's an equivalent of a different book. Or of another book that I could have enjoyed. And since I was reading this and Unwind at the same time, I was just like, I need a happy book. This has similar elements to Unwind as well. Because the Unwinds get sent to a harvest camp. Mm -hmm. And the children with powers get sent to a camp as well where they're kept and mistreated. And to think that there's a movie out now. Maybe I'd want to read it before I see the movie. I wouldn't even see the movie because Christine didn't really like oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> Christine from Poland Bananas Books. Mm. Okay. So I'm sorry that I DNF this one. But it's just my thoughts on this book. So do you guys have a good reads challenge for this year? How many books is your goal for this year? Mine's 30. Saying mine's 30. You already read 22? Yeah, 22 books out of 30. I only read 17. And it's already almost. Life has been a bit crazy at the moment and I haven't been reading as much as I used to. But I won't give up on the, the 30 book goal this year. I might adjust mine to 40 to make it more challenging. I don't know, we'll see. I might get busy with school and life. Busy with life in general. So currently, I'm reading Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, mentioned earlier. This is my 23rd book. And like I said <laughs> earlier, this is my 18th book. I think I should do better, but I'm almost halfway. And how many pages is that? Not much. I think uh, a little over 300. And the font's pretty big. Yeah, this one too. And the storyline's good. I think for the past month, I would have read a lot if I weren't on a book slump because of this book. It was just... It felt like nothing would be able to measure up to it and every other succeeding book would be disappointing. <laughs> yeah, that too. But then, after Thunderhead, I was just... I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to read. Actually, this is my other book that I'm currently reading. I started it 
five days after I finished Thunderhead. But then I couldn't really absorb anything. It's a nice book. It's a good book. The start of the story was pretty interesting. I guess I couldn't absorb it because I just jumped from one world to a different world. So I was just still stuck, hungover from the other world. And I couldn't stop thinking what would happen to the Thunderhead to Citra. She and was I, worried. <laughs> a worried mother. <laughs> so I dropped this for a while and read a couple of contemporary books. I think I'll keep reading more contemporary until my heart's ready. <laughs> I'm excited about this book. So what book do you think we should read next? What are you reading at the moment? And how are you doing with your Goodreads challenge? Oh uh, yeah. What's your reading goal for this year? What does your book haul consist of this month? Anything you borrowed, you just bought, excited to read about, let us know. Support your libraries, your authors. Drop us a line down at the comments and give us a, and a subscribe. Like and subscribe. We'll see you again next time.